Greetings and salutations, welcome back to our Let's Play of EU4 with Red Bastard as Serbia. And our kitties are fed, breakfast is in the oven, and we are good for another half an hour. So we are going to launch a war against Naxos. I think we have enough troops here and there. Let's see if Venice would come in. Now, Ottomans would if we gave them some land, but we're definitely not going to do that. Now, we could call in Ferrara. Let's see how many troops Venice has been able to build up. 14,000. So they would get killed. Slow down Venice. I think we're okay just attacking. I'm going to pull this fleet out. So we wiped out that army. Send these two guys over here. Oh, we need to get this. Get our fleet. Over here. Okay, Roma. What do we want in Roma? Manpower, I guess. Didn't really want to develop it because... That makes it a little harder to convert, but... We'll worry about that later. Uh, they control both sides of that straight, so they should be able to hit those troops. Okay, unless we beat them. Good. The only place they'll have to retreat is there. So we have that province. Let's break off the damaged ships here, get them into this port to repair the rest of the way. I would love to have a naval blockade going on here, but that's just too much for us to be able to swing at the moment. Okay, now Naxos. prevent Venice from being able to join into this war. We do want to deal with some of these troops before we try that. So let's get this done with. I put some pressure on Venice. Kill some straggler navies, eliminate Ragusa's navy, and so on and so forth. And I would like to get Military Tech 9. Are we paying anyone for fleet basing rights at the moment? Is that bug? I think that bug is in place where it doesn't actually cancel the fleet basing right cost. So we're paying two ducats until we relaunch the game. Yeah, because it's like we're not paying for Condottieri, we're not sending officers, we're not supporting loyalists. So we're actually losing two ducats per month. Fleet basing rights that we're not actually getting. People have reported that bug before. I wish Paradox would prioritize fixing bugs over trying to close exploits. They seem to have their priorities completely wrong in that regard. And I'm all for closing exploits, just prioritize fixing the bugs over that. 
We have a limited amount of time. Fix the bug. We could get some more trips, but we just don't have any manpower for it. All of our manpower is going to be used refilling these units. Okay, we cracked the walls, that's really good. And Venice isn't really doing anything. Look at that guy of the knights. Where are we improving relations at? I mean, I get that we have aggressive expansion. It's going down the list, but... Wow. So we could attack their navy. I don't think it's really worthwhile. Now, do we want to attack the knights first? Let's see if we can get Nak, uh, Ragusa out. And that's just going to take time. Behold the might of a 030. Oh, we lost that core. Because they culturally converted it. Thank you, France. Really bad to get. We are already behind on military. Take the support of clergy, that gives us more papal influence. Or papal influence. Uh, patriarchal authority. I'm going to accept the inevitable minus 12. We'll just keep checking on that. Okay, so we could try landing here. But I think it'd be best if we got Military Tech 9 first, because I think they beat us there. Yeah, they did. And we don't have a lot of spare manpower to be throwing around. As a snack, so we don't need that any longer. A manager, aggressive expansion. Ugh. Well, hopefully France or Ottomans or somebody else will pay off our debt. Separatists sound like that. Zero percent. And that's with an Inquisitor. And plus three stability. Wow. Let's check on Fragosa. Set them down in the corner and ask them to think about what they've done. Okay, they seem like that. Goose won't exist, so we don't care.
And I want to deal with the rebellion there. We'll give that to a trade company. Or, or, or burgers, eventually, anyway. Oh, really? Been raid our coast? Well, allow me to retort. 7,000 troops, one tech level ahead of us. The terrain doesn't favor them. I think we could just straight up invade them. I wanted military tech 9, but it's going to take us so long to get there that I'd rather just try this and see if we can win. Hold the line. Nice. And then we'll blockade it. We won't be able to make any progress until we get troops back. We have limited manpower and we need more trips over here, so I'm not going to do anything up here. We don't seem to need to. We could just sit on this for a while. Three pair alone. We should take a look at how institutions are spreading. Okay, so it is spreading up through southern Italy. Very, very slowly. Lost our admiral. That's unfortunate, because now is not the time that we should be losing admirals. And start building up some spy power to try forcing the surrender of that city a little more quickly than it otherwise would. And we'll just hold on to this cash for embracing institutions. This is taking us way too long. Uh, that is formerly known as Ragusa, Dubrovnik. We can make that into a state. Definitely want to do that. So now we can give it to our burgers. And we can enforce some religious unity there. Okay, so how long has this war been going on? Four years. Ugh. Now, we will be able to get some more missionary strength as we bring up our Patriarch Authority. Yeah, we got men back so slowly. Okay, I'm thinking that we want to go about this in a different way. We 
Get them back to friendly territory. Let's definitely get this before the cost increases. Upgrade our troops to Pike Inventory because it's the end of the month. So they'll get a boost to their morale after a few days. Patriarch Authority. Now we could... Hey! Oh, they converted the uh, Hungarian. We can't culturally convert this until they religiously convert it. Okay, so now we're at 7.6. So yeah, that was definitely the way to do it. 8.1. And this is giving us a chance to get rid of some of the aggressive expansion. Eight point six, nine point two. So we'll do one more month and then march them back over. Rival of our rivals, Savoy. Sounds good. We even get a royal marriage if we weren't over in diplomatic relations. See, yeah. It's not treating us as if we have military access, it's just charging us as if we had it. We'll suffer a little bit of attrition here on the ships, but only it looks like a hundred guys. Well, we need more than that. We need eleven units of troops. Okay. We're just gonna annoy the ignore this call to peace until we have roads captured. I think Venice would just rejoin the war. Due to the whole trade league thing. So hopefully this won't climb up too much before this surrenders. There's not much to say, we're just waiting for this fort to surrender to us. Poland and Brandenburg split so that Ottomans can attack Poland. Ooh, we need to start improving relations with our allies, especially the Ottomans. Okay, we crack the walls. We're going to end up with some more exhaustion. We can't suffer that, so... I have to choose the second option. Hurry it up, hurry it up. 
Now, we don't need to completely have this war won. We do want to have the war goal, so that we have 25 war score. Looks like Poland mismanaged that. Oh, I was expecting more war score from that. So we'll just wait a few more months for it to tick upwards. Oof. Lots of Separatists. And yes, we are getting war exhaustion as we're waiting quite a bit of it. But potentially keeping Venice instead of just immediately rejoining this other war is probably more important. I'll just leave this guy here. Not here for a second. So we're session like three. We'll be stuck in peace for a while after this, unless we're called into this war. Or some other war. Okay, we got 25 war score. Let's see how quickly is it going up? Let's wait till we have 26. And we definitely want this reduced. Now, I kind of want religious ideas, but we're so far behind here, so far ahead here. I can't justify going for religious yet. Okay, so we can piece this out. I'm going to take that and this. That is some more. Progressive expansion. And let's try to get that. So we could turn off this edict, I'm sure. Where's colonialism spreading from? Because it's going really quickly into Ragusa. That's spreading from Hungary. I'm going to turn that off. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, no, no. No, you don't want to do that. Probably the Muscovy. I'm hoping that they reconsider. Empirical authority. I want to try avoiding revolts there. It's because moving trips around is going to be a pain. Let's reduce that down. them that were friends. 1524 takes so long to get favors with them.
Okay, so now we have 100 war score here. And take Naxos. They will upset just the same people, but the Knights won't exist, so it'll be Venice and the Papacy who are upset with us, and we don't care. Oh, we could give that to the clergy, but they got way too much influence already. Let's just bust the fort. And get these guys home. Okay, Ottomans. Please reconsider. These guys we're gonna have to protect trade again. And these guys we're gonna upgrade. Take a look at our allies. That trust up. That trust up. And as soon as we get more favors, we're going to increase trust there. Either they're going to break the alliance, or they might just realize that those three provinces belong to us. And that they're not all that interested. Okay, go rebels, hurt Ottomans. Our ally, but looks like they might be a friend of me. Let's keep an eye on our time. 27 minutes. Okay. We'll take a look at our institutions. It's spreading pretty slowly, but it's going to be present here, and that's a lot of development, so now we can embrace it. Okay, I think I'll stop this video here. Thank you for watching.